Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for our review of episode 5, Queen of the Months. Jay, Nia, and Lloyd make their way to the Mons base and almost get lost along the way because Mert does not have many brain cells. They arrive though and meet Queen Mertessa who is very thankful but for some reason wants to marry Jay. Also, she's sexist because she calls Nia a servant and also the yin yang promise is referenced. Mertessa invites a ninja to dinner where she reveals she wants Jay to be her king and Nia doesn't like this so they challenge each other to a fight. Nia suits up in her new gi, does Spinjitsu once, defeats Mertessa, wins, and now for some reason she's the new queen. Alright, so I like how this episode is all about Nia. We really haven't seen much of her lately, so I like how this episode is really all about her. She feels like the normal Nia in this episode, getting mad at Jay for every little thing he does, and yeah, Jay kind of deserves it in this episode. And also, Lloyd doesn't really do anything in this episode, which I think is great. As we all know, Lloyd's been focused on quite a bit, especially seasons 10 and 11, and season 12 was less than those, but he was still quite prominent. This may finally be the season where Lloyd takes a backseat, and his only real story in this season was the trust issues thing with Vanya, but that already seems to be done with in episode 2. So is there anything still in store for Lloyd in this season? It doesn't really seem so, and that's fine with me. Also, this season is doing a good job with the season 13 suits. A big issue in Old Ninjago was every season, the ninja would get new suits and new vehicles without any explanation. This season, and Prime Empire as well, seem to be fixing that by showing how the ninja get their suits. For every ninja except Nia, for the majority of the season, they actually wear their season 11 gi. And I'm not a huge fan of the way the season 11 gi looks, but I like how it's being used as the new default suits. And also, I'm not a huge fan of the season 13 gi either, but it looks pretty good in the show. The new suits thing is a small issue with Ninjago, but I'm really happy to see it at last getting fixed. Episode 5 has also got some good humor in areas as well, like Mert getting lost, and the ninja not liking the food, and Lloyd is pretty funny as well. I don't know though, this episode is just too weird. I mean, the entire premise doesn't really work in 11 minutes. Mertessa falls in love, Nia defeats her, and then becomes the queen. This entire episode's premise sounds and kinda is really dumb. First off, the fight scene. I felt the fight scene in this episode was pretty bad and really a letdown, honestly. The first 30 seconds or so are good, but it goes downhill when Mertessa starts to roll around, and then Nia does Spinjitsu once, once, and defeats her. I just didn't really find this fight scene to be entertaining. It isn't really something I'd want to go back and rewatch. And then we have the ending. Nia becomes the new queen, and I just felt that was so forced. The whole ninja becoming leaders thing feels like lazy writing to me, honestly. I think it's done better in episode 6 with Kai, but here it just doesn't work. Also, what happened to the season 6 Jay who, you know, cared about Nia and heard her out? Jay in this episode is really a doofus. I mean, he really can't take a hint, and he just doesn't really seem to care what's going on. And as for Mertessa, I mean, she's not terrible, but she's definitely not a good character either. I also don't like how the geckles and months, especially the latter, are being portrayed as primitive cavemen. It's basically like, oh hey, they look uncivilized, so they must be really stupid. Ninjago seems to have entered a really silly stereotype with the months. You know, how Mert keeps talking about himself in third person. And also Mert's story at the beginning, I felt that was really weird too. This episode's plot, not that good. I don't think it was doomed to fail, but it just doesn't work here. Too much going on in 11 minutes, a very short and underwhelming fight scene, where Tessa falls in love and uh, Nia becomes queen. For characters, Nia was fine, uh, not bad, not great, and I found Lloyd to be funny at moments. Jay though just felt really silly in this episode, and Mertessa, nothing special. Action was not that good, which is uncommon for DHX. I just didn't find this fight scene to be that enjoyable. There just wasn't much going on. Mertessa rolls around and Nia spins once and it's over. And lastly for emotion, this episode has a lot of missed potential. We could have seen Nia telling Jay how much he means to her, but the fight really happens, at least to me it looks like it happens because Nia just doesn't like Mertessa. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 6 out of 10. Overall, mediocre episode and definitely the worst of the season so far. I don't think the idea was terrible, but ultimately it was just a very weird episode and it felt very out of place. But episode 6 definitely seems to be better, so tomorrow we'll check out that. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Leave a comment explaining your thoughts on this episode, what you liked about it, what issues you had. Excited to see what you guys have to say, and I'll see you next time. 